We've been talking about the debit credit rules, and we said that when we start a business, and investors invest cash in the business in exchange for stock boy that's a lot of English to write what it looks like when we do a journal entry is this. It's debit and credit, because remember, for every debit in the world, there's a credit. We would debit from a corporate standpoint, debit cash for whatever the amount is, and we would credit common stock. And this is what a journal entry looks like. Notice the debits are always first, Credits are always second and what? Indented. So that's a journal entry. Now the second one we did was we what? Paid a dividend. Paid dividend to stockholders. And we said to do that, we're going to debit dividends, an owner's equity account which makes owner's equity go down, and we're going to credit cash. Notice again, debits are first, credits are second, credits are indented. Now, let's look at it from um, a liability standpoint. We have this homework business, right? Hmm, I need some supplies. I need some paper and pencils, etc. So if I did that, um, there's two ways I can get supplies. I could buy them for cash, or I could buy them, what, using my credit card. So let's look at the difference. If I buy supplies for cash, will my asset supplies increase? Because am I getting supplies? But also, I have an asset cash that's what? Decreasing. Because didn't I have to write a check to buy those supplies? So notice, assets are debited when they're increased and credited when they're decreased. So instead of saying, I went to the store and bought supplies for cash, I would just simply say, debit supplies, credit cash. But what if instead, I went to the store and I bought supplies, but I used my credit card? Well, we know in accounting that using my credit card is called accounts payable. So let's see how I do that. Hmm. I debit supplies because the asset supplies is increasing, wouldn't it? That means I need a credit. Whatever else it is, it's a credit. So that means I credit accounts payable. Now, I have a question. Is accounts payable increasing or decreasing when I buy supplies? Well, accounts payable is increasing. So credits must increase accounts payable. So when we increase our liabilities, it's a, it's a credit. So instead of saying went to the store and bought supplies on account, I would say debit supplies, credit, accounts payable. End of the month comes. You get your credit card bill and you pay it. Tell me how you would communicate that in accounting. Well, I know my cash is going to go down when I pay my bills, I hope. And I know my accounts payable is going down because I'm paying it. So, notice that liabilities will be decreased by uh, debits. And just like uh, assets are decreased by credits. So, because I wrote a check, right? So, I paid my bills at the end of the month. Very simple. In a, in, that's it in English. What's it in accounting? Debit, accounts payable, because accounts payable is going down. Credit, cash. Yeah. So that's great. Okay, so did I do this right? No. No. Did I? Oh, look at this. I messed this up, didn't I? We're just looking at this as a big black hole. Tell me again. 
In our key account, our debit side is our left side. What do debits do to liabilities? They decrease it. What do credits do to liabilities? They increase it. Is that exactly the same as the stockholders' equity accounts? Yes. We got it right. <laughs>